Plus 12. All right, brother. Actually, no, Here we go. I, right. I understand it, though. That's not going to work. Anyway, I'll just... I'll, I'll just, I'll just comment <laughs> Sorry about that. So, folks, this is a super amazing wagon adventure. The best game in the world. All right, brother. Here We're we going to end the stream like this. Right. And I am about to be out of here afterwards. But this game is pretty epic. And I uh, and encourage and you to be part of this adventure. All right. So... So... Some of you may have never seen this game before. Some of you may have seen this game. If you're a follower of my stream... You would have known that it is indeed Super Amazing Wagon Adventure time. And uh, this is going to be a special occasion. So I'm going to be looking for... It's going to be me. It's going to be Tempo. And I don't know if I want to play against uh, Kerrigan or not. Uh, someone <laughs> suggested Kerrigan. But I think I think the safest thing and easiest thing, because we do want to... We, we want to be equal rights here, yep. is we will get a girl involved... Crane Song is, of course, the manliest of men, <laughs> and I think Crane Song. I don't. Crane Song. Did we give you the? Uh, did we give you the glasses last time, Crane Song? Or not? A uh, nerd raging. I'm sorry, nerd raging. You say Temple. You could have casted a game of me just Crane now, Song. Crane Song. but the whole point is, then I would have had to say goodbye after the game, so, which would have been more time. The travelers. But uh, it's the special. The last time. You will be hearing me on the stream. It might not have even have been a game of you if we, if we uh, casted another game, uh, so I apologize. And I cannot wait. We're going to be having the driver, S. Invicta, joined by my brother. Oh, and yeah, look at that sexy beast. DT Voice crack. Tempo, <laughs> and then, of course, look at that sexy last, beast. Least, is Crane Song, the manliest of all men. Good luck, have fun. This is how we do it. As I always say before every game of uh, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. That if you have seen this game before, the beginning scenes too tend to repeat, and then everything after that is subsequently randomized. And I will try to do my best to narrate as well as play, but keep in mind that I'm awful at video games and I can barely read English. They, they traveled in the standard, completely average, because it's the only thing that's fair. So again, this is an exhibition match. There is, for those of you who may or may not know, there is a thread that I keep track of stats and everything, and this one doesn't count. This is just for funsies as we close out the show tonight. Day three, seeing some animals in upcoming clearing. <laughs> it's so funny. They hurried ahead. They, need, they needed to stock up on food for the long journey. So again, keep in mind that uh, you will see a counter. Uh, actually, one second here. Let me turn down the sound just a tad. I think it's drowning me out. Do for some reason my sound got What did Jetrix say? High. Zetrix, Zetrix, Zetrix. I'm now looking at my chat. I haven't been looking at my chat uh, you forever. You will see a counter on the right-hand side, upper right-hand side. Posse of Bandits interrupted the hunt. That looks like a deer with a with a number next to it. That's basically your hides, and hides are currency in this game. So if you're lucky to spawn a fur trader, again, everything is randomized. And yeah, Skype got uh, Skype is messing with the audio settings. That's the reason why I got so loud. But yeah, so hides are basically currency in this game. And an extra special shout out, uh, Machine Gun Arm Bandit Wagon arrived. I swear, extra if I die first. Extra special shout out to my friend Sparse Vector, the creator of this game, who was on SS Radio. Yep. So we do have Sinvicta driving, my brother Tempo, and Crane Song in the back. Day 8. Tempo left the wagon to look for some wild <laughs> berries. <laughs> I gotta eat my berries, man. Nice afro, Tempo. Look at nice that afro. afro. And I love how I'm wearing a red shirt because I, I love red. the wagon. Tempo heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Oh, hell no. I hate bears, Ain't man. No thing. Ain't no thing. In its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. A swarm of rabbit squirrels heard the cry. <laughs> 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 oh, I wish I could kill Tempo to a, 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 a horde of rabbit squirrels. Tempo ran back to the wagon. Day nine, they reached a river crossing. Oh, shit. Is it me? No, it's going to be someone else. Crane Song had the burning idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Now, of course, Crane Song is in chat, and I will let her decide on what she wants to do. Jump it. Are we, jump are we going to be fording or will we be jumping? It. She says, jump that ish. All right, they got a running start left from the top of the ledge. Whee! <laughs> Never gets old. Somehow they landed safely on the other side. Nice, Crane Song. Day wow. 18, they entered into the Great Plains. Very nice. Safely on the other side. Day 27, Crane Song came ill with Scarlet <laughs> Fever. <laughs> that sucks. So Crane Song is now down to one heart. Day 31, they came across a large herd of buffalo, and this is not good. Nope. This is not the part Crane where you want to be one down HP to one heart. And buffalo's uh, annoying. Uh, buffalo's, man, they close. go ham, I tell you. Come on, Crane Song. I don't want that bazooka. Bazookas destroy the highs. Woo. Uh, day 32, some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Please. Not too bad, not too bad. Don't get the bow. Oh, oh, the bow's good. Oh, it is. Hides, we want Crane Song to live. Come on, Crane Song. We need to, we need to save our... No! Oh, Crane Song, no! <laughs> oh, day 
38. Oh, of course, now the fur trader comes after Crane Song gets killed by a buffalo. The fur trader offered them to exchange the supplies and animals. Uh. Damn it. Damn it. Day 36, or day 46, na a wagon axle was broken. The wagon was stuck. Oh, shoot. Sinvicta left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post miles away, and here comes the walking. <laughs> coyotes, hey, hounded coyotes hounded him. Coyotes hounded him. Crane Song. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. The game screwed me. I have no, I have no control over whether or not you get Scarlet Fever or whatever. <laughs> get a little bit of flamethrower. Of course, this game is historically accurate. Walking miles away with a flamethrower. Day fifty. Uh, Simicus stumbled upon a camp of sleeping travelers. Oh, well, too bad. Train song Simicus doesn't notice the travelers had left the supplies because he's out dead. The camp. He was tempted to steal the supplies. Well, we don't really need the supplies because uh, we're on, we're on full, which will be nice health. this time around. Care bears, care bears. Sin Victor left the travels alone, day 59, and finally Sin Victor reached the uh, trading post. The replacement axle cost all of Sin Victor's money, and then he had to travel back. <laughs> Get them coyotes. So we're doing okay. Get them coyotes. <laughs> Get them Train coyotes. Crush. Yeah, she indeed. She has a crushed skull from the bison headbutting her. Coyotes are no match for my... Day 62, the Great Plains are huge. Yes, oh, they God. Are. Your coyote powers are no match for my flamethrower powers. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing. Grabbing some charred uh, coyote hides. Tempo is just chilling <laughs> out in the, uh, in the wagon, not doing much. I'm kicking it back, yo. Come on, I'm, I'm watching the Sipping wagon. on a margarita. Day 66, finally St. Victor reached the wagon. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. Day 71, they reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Uh-oh. St. Victor had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path. Well, I think we all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to swim. swim. Because Tempo loves Tempo him. loves swimming. <laughs> wow, of course. God damn it, St. Victor. They face deadly piranhas. Indeed. But again, your piranha powers are no match for my flamethrower. My underwater flamethrower Damn, powers. that's crazy. Good way. Yeah, I should have picked up the bazooka, everyone says. I did not <laughs> kill Crane Song off purposely. I, I don't kill people purposely in this game. Yeah. It undermines the integrity. It ruins the fun. Yes. And anger. Oh, God, not the narwhals. Oh, uh, these are tough. Now is where the game doesn't become fun anymore. Oh. This is crazy. Somehow I accidentally clipped a narwhal. and Victor's down to three. Tim oh. Down to four. Watch yourself. Oh, oh come on, oh, man. You, you let me get hit by that narwhal. It's a far. It's a narwhal. Ooh. AK-47. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> a giant squid blocked their path. Fling it on. Look at that. Ain't no thing. It's a boss. Although somehow, how did we get hit there? All right. Well, the AK-47 is not the best weapon for a giant squid. Nope. Oh. Now he ain't got no legs. Bone arrow, bam! Right in the eye. To Tempo the face. Knows the treasure chest <gasps> in the water. He swam from the wagon to investigate. Oh boy! He felt that there had to be something super amazing inside, but he was hesitant. I wasn't sure if he should open it. Now Tempo, I'm a, I'm a alt tab over to Tempo's chat. Now Tempo, are we gonna be taking it or not? Take that shit! Take that shit! Take that shit! <laughs> Tempo says last time it was a sword. We don't, all we have is a pistol. Take it! Take it's it! Tempo, I'm gonna leave it up to Tempo. Do it! Are we opening it or not? Take that the shit. egg was terrible. God, the egg was so bad. <laughs> he says take it. Tempo says open it. <laughs> And the chest Don't has. be a sword. Don't be a sword. He opened it and found a revolver. A revolver's no, bad? Not the revolver. Wait, what's so bad about revolvers? We are so screwed. They threw out their old pistol and continued swinging to the shore of the river. What's Day bad? 76, they entered a mountain pass. Uh, the revolver is so bad. It looks good to me. Uh, day 85, they ate an excellent meal of elk sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds actually pretty good. I'll actually get full. Nope. Day 88, <laughs> food supplies dwindling, so they hunted. That's true. At least this time we did not get the sword. That's right. So I can't fully blame Tempo for that. I think the revolver is We're better than. Isn't the revolver elk? better than the pistol? Just ate a nice meal of elk sandwiches. That sounds brilliant. Is it not? No. Pack of wool. Smell the blood. And now it's when it goes down. <laughs> oh God! I hate the revolver so much. And Look some at that. Of you may be thinking, why you hate the revolver? Because you actually have to reload it. In oh. Game. It's I a didn't... six shooter, and once all six shots are done, you have to wait for a reload. Like that. That sucks. No, no, I missed it. Day 90, they came across the fur trader. Give us something better. Give us something better. The fur trader offered them to change and uh, trade them for a newer, shoot, faster shooting pistol for oh, 100 snap. animal hides. Yes, we no, will. No, don't do it. Don't do oh, it. Wait, no. Keep the revolver. Oh no, this upgrades the revolver. 
Is it really? They traded it for the newer pistol. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! In '97, the snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. Oh god! Oh, I'm reloading. Shit. Why is Tempo on full health? And I don't have half health. <laughs> because I'm the one holding uh, the revolver. Oh, this is reload, reload. No. Trolling like a boss, Invicta. No. Come on, Invicta. No. Inside the trail, they saw a dark figure. Uh, Tempo left the wagon to investigate. Oh, oh, it's a oh, whoa! I was not expecting that at all. It turns out it was Bigfoot, and Bigfoot was mad. Tempo! <laughs> Shoot him with the revolver! Oh my god! Get out of there! Dude! Sid Victor! Come on, kill him! Oh, Tempo! I ain't dying to no Bigfoot! <laughs> wow! Tempo ran back from the wagon in a hurry. They accidentally drove off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and this now game we're is crazy, man. Oh, I swear to God. Uh, the wagon passed through a flock of crows. This game is nuts. Oh, that big, that Bigfoot. He took that me by surprise. That was mildly disturbing. He took me by a huge surprise. So I know how to deal with the crows, thank goodness. However, I am on one health, and Tempo is somehow still on three health. Three health. I think he may he may have paid Sparse Vector here. Sabotage the game. It's all because of my revolver. The day baby. Tempo met Bigfoot. Day 105. Luckily, the wagon landed in the river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down by the river. Down river by the currents. Yes. Oh, with the revolver. I don't feel good about this. Day 106. They had to avoid boulders in the wagon as their wagon navigated the rapids. Whoa. Oh, God. Watch yourself. I don't want to get hit here by a boulder. Oh, God, the revolver. It's the funniest so bad. adventure, I swear, man. It's so bad. You gotta re reload it. We didn't even get like. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, this is it. Oh, wow. I can't believe I survived. It's about the skinniest. Where's the team. health? I need health. There hasn't even Some been reason one there are a bunch of alligators in the river. Of course, there's alligators in the river. Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, I'll even take the laser gun at this point. Mm-hmm. The uh -oh. laser. Wow. Uh oh. <sighs> uh, oh health. Health. Whoa! No! Victor <laughs> drowned to death, and his and, and Tempo stole my health in the rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't make God. it. Tempo, no, Tempo knows something on the rise. There was a bandit on the raft. It seemed the bandits had followed him and set up an ambush. Oh, it's... Tempo stole my health after I died. Tempo's I a that boss. <laughs> That's Tempo. That's the Tempo oh, way. Oh, don't tell me Tempo is going to survive. I'm going to be so mad if Tempo wins. I'm the best. If Tempo survives this, I'm going. Oh. Wow, brother. Wow, look at that. that Those moves. Right Tempo got moves. Shotgun. Tempo Boom, got some sick moves. Oh, God. Tempo's going to win this, isn't he? Yep. I'm going to win it. In oh, to my win God. It. I'm going to be so mad. The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Ooh. Oh, the shotgun is not what you want. There's rocks, too. Oh, God. The revolver's so weak. No. Uh, so it shoots faster, but you live. have to revolve. I don't want Tempo to live. Whoa. Oh, the laser gun. Pew, pew, oh, pew, pew. Two you, hearts. You, whoa, stop it. Stop it. Save it. One heart. God. No. <laughs> Tempo was killing him. Bullet struck the back of his head. He was one shot away from beating it. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That's sabotage. Oh, Tempo was one shot away from winning. <laughs> oh, if it wasn't for that last alligator that I had to dodge into the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Sabotage? No, of yep. course, I would never. <laughs> I would never kill anybody on purpose. I was trying to win. Yeah, man. We were in it to yeah, win. Yeah, now the chat is saying, yeah, see, sabotage. Yeah. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Crane Song is blaming me because she got killed by a buffalo. Somehow it was my fault <laughs> that she got scarlet fever. Oh, my God. That game is so funny. Uh, Woo. Well, that was a super amazing wagon adventure, folks. It's so a game that Simvicta does play. It's so pretty sad. fun. Um, he takes That's three people from the chat, for tonight. adds Again, them into thank you to everyone out there in the game. Tempo's chat and in my chat for helping us do the dual casting. Again, tune in tomorrow on Saturday, beginning at noon PST, noon Pacific Standard Time is when the SS Radio Open begins. Tomorrow is going to be epic. Clear your calendars, boys and girls, because you have plans for tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, everybody out there, and I Indeed. will see you all next all right. time. Take it easy. Well, I forgot we're not even in Skype anymore. God damn it. So that's Invicta for you right there. Um, he was doing the dual casting with me. And I uh, got to give a big shout out to him in his stream as well. I wish I could have said goodbye to his stream, but uh, we're not in Skype anymore. So I got to give a big shout out to Narat.